In this video, we will show quality control for multiple breath nitrogen washout on MGC Diagnostics Pulmonary Function Systems using Ascent software. While the ATS does not give a recommendation for frequency on performing nitrogen washout quality control, MGC Diagnostics recommends performing this test weekly if nitrogen washout is the main procedure used to determine lung volumes. For this test, the BTPS correction factor should be turned off. This means that a nitrogen washout syringe QC test can be added to the existing file used for FEC syringe testing. Proceed to the N2 washout test screen. Before each N2 washout effort, place the umbilical clip into the calibration port and perform a gas calibration. Once the gas calibration has passed, connect the umbilical clip to the prevent flow sensor and have the syringe and flow sensor connected to the head of the system. Click the start button or press the spacebar to begin the effort. Place your thumb at the 0.5 liter mark on the syringe plunger and perform tidal breathing with the syringe. The initial four tidal breaths are measuring the room air concentration of oxygen and do not get displayed on the graphs. After the initial tidal breaths, the volume time graph will trace the tidal breaths. When four stable tidal breaths have been established as indicated by the red horizontal dotted line at the end of exhalation, Press the space bar to switch you into breathing 100% oxygen. Continue tidal breathing in the 500 to 1000 milliliter range at a frequency of 12 to 16 breaths per minute. When the N2 concentration gets below 1.7% for three consecutive breaths, the system automatically ends the effort. Note, if there is a leak present, the N2 concentration may not get low enough for the system to auto stop. If this happens, press the spacebar to end the effort and repeat the effort once the leak has been eliminated. After the effort has ended, verify that the measured FRC value is within the target range in the table shown. Depending on your model of syringe, locate the appropriate syringe dead space column, then note the lower and upper range for FRC. Your measured value should fall within that range. If the FRC is not within range, perform another gas analyzer calibration and repeat the effort. While a three liter syringe cannot be used for measuring lung volumes, via plethysmography in the Platinum Elite, an isothermal bottle from MGC with a known volume can be used in its place. Please refer to our YouTube channel to see a video on performing isothermal bottle testing. Biologic QC should also be performed on a regular basis using subjects that are healthy and non-smoking. Refer to the ATS Pulmonary Function Laboratory Management and Procedure Manual, which can be purchased at the ATS website, www.thoracic.org. Thank you for watching this video. Information on quality control can be found in the MGC Diagnostics Product Bulletin, part number 140255-001. To obtain a copy of this bulletin, or if you have any questions on quality control, contact our technical support department at 1-800-333-4137 or email us at support at mgcdiagnostics.com.